you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Adeline Welch and today I'm going to show you how I did this deceivingly easy look. I hope I said that the right way. I hope it's not backwards, but you know what I'm saying where it looks harder than it really is. I stuck to the same few products for my face. My blush and my bronzer are for both my face and my eyes and then just mascara, just like really low key stuff. This kind of been kind of organically though, like I just sat down and I wanted to get ready for a friend barbecue tonight that we're doing for Cinco de Mayo. And I just wanted to do something, just something, but I didn't really have anything planned. And I just thought, you know what, I'll just throw on just a pencil liner because that's really easy to do. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll do green. I'll just like stick to the tone of my fun little polka dots. And then just kind of went from there. So then you'll kind of see the process that I went through is really simple and it was fun to just play with things and lately I feel like that's kind of been my my jam you know my the vibes I'm giving off like I just want to play and explore more and just have like a little bit of an outline a little bit of an idea what I'm doing and, and you can you know use these principles for anything it could be like your work makeup for the morning even if you only have 10 minutes just you know just explore a little bit and it feels really good because it feels like you kind of use a little bit of that dose of creative juices that we all crave to use also last note this lip I Love it. It is, is a new discovery. No, oh, my teeth my teeth are good. <laughs> it is a new discovery. I think I got it in like a package or something. It's a drugstore lip. And I love it. It's the NYX Intense Butter Gloss. I just was gonna do a nude lip today, but I thought, you know what? I was just kind of going through my stuff. I was like, no. Again, going back to what I was saying earlier, I wanted to start using more of my stuff as well, going along with being more creative. I wanna like explore more and pick up products I don't usually pick up. And it just feels really good to do that. And so I picked this up today and I'm really excited I did because it was hacky easy to put on. And there you go. So I hope that's just an... <laughs> My husband is outside, there's a window in front of me that my husband's outside giving me the creepy looks. <laughs> He's like, Nee. I hope videos like this can help give you ideas of to do things that you don't normally do that will just bring a little joy to your life because who doesn't need a little bit more joy? And bright colors do that, I think, for a lot of people. And if you don't think it does, I dare you to try it. <laughs> so anyways, let's get to it. Hey, how's it going? So as you can see, I am hanging out with my little buddy boy, my baby August. He's not feeling so hot, so he's sticking with me today. I am starting with my eyes by priming them so anything we do to them today stays in place until we want it all to come off. So I'm taking a medium sized blender brush and I am blending on some face bronzer here. So keeping it real low key, you guys, I'm just sticking to my crease and then buffing it out into the outer corner. Then I'm going to add a pop of color immediately. <laughs> That's just kind of what I was feeling today. As you saw at the beginning, I had green polka dots on. So <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm going for the green. So I picked up a green eyeliner and this is um, from Urban Decay. And the shade is called Zodiac. And I love it because it's just a really beautiful kind of a forest green, I would say with a little bit of sparkle. It's not overwhelming. It's more of like, if you're standing right in front of the person, it's like, ooh, that's pretty. And it just, this stuff really stays in place. I don't know if I already said it, but it's called the 24 seven glide on pencils and they have tons of colors. That's another thing I love about these is that you have a lot of variety. And if you like to play with fun colors and you like sparkle and you like maybe like some sheen or metallic or matte, like you have a lot of good options. So just FYI, these are a really nice one to try if you don't mind trying a slightly higher end price tag. It's not too bad, they're about 20 bucks. I love them. So I'm just sticking to a pretty simple, um, somewhat thick line today. It was just kind of an easier thing to do. My pencil wasn't super sharp, but it still was easy to apply. And I just did a bunch of short little strokes, which again, was just it was just easy. And then I'm just doing kind of a, a bigger cat flick, which is kind of like a small wing. It's just the motion that I did here. And then I'm just taking my fingernail and just making it a little sharper. So I am moving on pretty quick. I, I kind of go back and forth throughout this video because I didn't have a really set plan this time. I just kind of wanted to go with what I was feeling and just kind of, you know, going with the flow. And so, but I, <laughs> I can't stand my eyebrows, you guys, especially lately. Like 
It's a lot harder now that eyebrows are such a thing, especially when you naturally have sparse eyebrows or kind of quirky habits like I do where you rub them when you're stressed, which I still need to look that up. It's like, what is that called? I know it's a thing. I have a problem. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, real quick. That was the Bobbi Brown pencil in the shade Mahogany. That's the fastest way for me to do my eyebrows, but they look pretty rough today. So I go back in and fix them a few times. You will see. <laughs> and with the eyeliner, I just did a second coat and that was it just to make it a little bit more brilliant. And then I'm moving on to the face. I am using one of my favorite foundations that I've tried. I have tried sample after sample and I'm pretty picky, but the face is also kind of more of a newer area for me. Like the eyes are a really comfortable thing for me. I love playing with them. I love, I feel very comfortable with eyeshadows. Not that I don't have plenty of growth ahead of me, but I'm just less comfortable with my face, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, this is a stick foundation from, um, what, what, what am I saying? Uh, Urban Decay, <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, Makeup Forever, sorry, it's the HD stick and I really, really like it. So I just buffed a little bit of that just all over my face, keep it really, really simple with a soft buffing brush. Sorry guys, he got really, really sad here. He was ill at this time and he was just not having it. So I was able to pry him gently out of this contraption. <laughs> like what are those called like the Chinese finger traps <laughs> it's kind of like that I was like okay how am I gonna get you out of here uh, oh as you look at his face it's so sad when a little baby is sick I'm not I wasn't as used to that because with my first child is there when they're an only child I don't get sick as easy anyway sorry moving back to the face I threw on some Tarte shape tape uh, concealer under my eyes and if I had any little blemishes around I also, I use the shade Light Neutral, which is the perfect shade for me. That's one thing I love about this concealer. It's super high coverage, really intense. It's, I've noticed it's not something I like to put on if I'm wearing something really, really light on my face or nothing, because it looks too strong under the eye if there's nothing else around it that is pretty supportive as well, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like the uh, Makeup Forever foundation works well with this, because they're both pretty nice coverage and so yeah anyways just FYI that's just kind of my two cents on those together I love them together so I keep trying to fix my eyebrows but it's just it's just not happening you guys <laughs> so I quickly ran to the bathroom because my bronzer you guys is busted the middle for some reason just kind of imploded on me a few weeks back and I'm not sure really what happened. Maybe when it was made it had a little bubble underneath it you know when it's kind of setting or baking or however it works so I'm really bummed about that because that's my Bobbi Brown bronzer in the shade medium. That's actually what I used in my crease. Sorry, I'm already forgetting if I said that, but anyways, I like to buff that all over the place. It's a great bronzer. It's really easy to get on there. It's not so heavy that it like is hard. It, you have to like be careful, you know? So that's one of the reasons why I really like it. And then sticking with Bobbi again, this is one of my favorite products. It's called a Shimmer Brick, but this is actually a little newbie. This is the shade Wild Rose, and that's a mini, <laughs> a, a mini. And they're about half the price. So this is a great option if you've always wanted to try one of the Shimmer Bricks, but you don't feel like paying double <laughs> for double the size. And honestly, they're one of those products that's so little... There's like no kick up or anything and it would take you forever to use one up. So anyways, I love this shade and I hadn't tried it yet because it's a brand new. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to just slap it everywhere. <laughs> so it was my blush, my lid color, my brow bone color, and my inner highlight. So I was really enjoying playing with it. And then I was like, oh, wait, I got to set my eyebrows. So that's Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, which I really like. I honestly don't love, I've never loved the spoolie. But I like the formula because it really does stay in place. And so you could probably tell my eyebrows are pretty, they're bugging me today, you guys. They're just not looking so hot. Usually when they're really hard to work with, I need to groom them, which means I need to trim my hairs because they're sparse, but they get long. And I notice that that actually makes it really hard for any product to lay down very well. So if you're having a similar issue, maybe consider learning to trim your eyebrow hairs. Once you see it done once or twice or someone shows you, it's really really easy and i highly recommend it so i just went in here with another abh on a says your beverly hill product and that's just a skinny pencil just to kind of fill things a little bit in a little bit more and so going back to the eyeballs because i decided to leave my eyebrows alone again i think that was the last thing i did and i felt like okay i'm just gonna leave them alone move on with things i am adding a nude 
a pencil, <laughs> a nude um, eyeliner pencil. This is Rimmel, so it's like $3.99 at Target. I love it. It actually stays in place really, really well. And it's one of those techniques that really opens up the eye and it makes it look bright and awake because it's really just extending the illusion of the whites of your eyes. And so it just kind of gives the illusion and appearance that your eyes are wider and brighter and bigger. So it, that's kind of a fun technique to try as well that I recommend. And again, as I did with the eyeliner and the eyebrows, I went back in with the shimmer brick and just emphasized it a little bit more because I thought it would look better to make the pink a little bit stronger. And I wanted a little bit more of the shimmer to show up. Let me take a breath. <laughs> okay. Ooh, all right. So I am now just doing mascara and this is one of the last steps. And I decided to show you that I am drinking because I just liked how sharp my wing looked. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> Uh, anyways, so I am using MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara on the bottom because I love how it just separates and elongates my bottom lashes super well. It's not the kind of mascara that really would work for my lashes on the top, but I love this one. That, that one is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, and that's two coats on the top and one on the bottom, and I just love that combination for me. So... If you like that kind of effect and you have my kind of lashes that aren't the best naturally, give those a shot. You might be happy with those. So last but not least, I dug up a product that I don't usually use and it's a kind of a newer thing. Well, not newer. I just, I had it just laying around in my drawer and I was like, wait, I need to use this thing. So this is NYX Intense Butter Gloss. So it's like the perfect combination of like a, uh, sorry, a cream and a gloss and it feels really yummy on the lips. And I have to tell you, it glided on so well and it was a fun color to play with. You guys should get, definitely give it a shot. And that's it, guys. Okay, guys, so here is the final look. What do you think? Sorry, it's another voiceover, but it's just one of those weeks, you know? I really am in the mood to film a lot. I wanna film more, but I've also had a sick baby and I need to work with work with him. I need to work around that and just how it's very an unpredictable situation. And so I just didn't wanna be like doing a, a talk through video and then like, come get him and him being sad and you know like it would have been a bit of a mess so i hope you really liked this i hope it was easy to follow and it, that it gave you maybe some new ideas or maybe some new products to try so yeah thanks for being here and i will catch you next time take care